Now, doctor, I understand that the breast structure is really complex and that it changes from decade to decade. Explain these changes to me. Lisa, the best way I can explain it to you is by demonstrating mammograms. You see, this is the breast when she is young. And of course, everybody understands she needs the glandular tissue. The glandular tissue consists of the gland that produces the milk and the duct that leads the milk out to the surface of the nipple. And during the years, the gland kind of retires, atrophies, and it's replaced by adipose tissue, by fat. So you see how much white that is glandular tissue is seen on this mammogram and how much gray that is fatty tissue is on this mammogram. Or the change might be like this, kind of there is some glandular tissue left, but most of the breast is entirely fatty replaced. But you see, if she becomes pregnant, or if she receives hormone replacement therapy, then the gland wakes up again. And that will be again a dense breast. By the age of about 70, 80% of the women look like this. The mammograms are easy to read. I'm in an easy situation in finding benign or malignant breast diseases. So what can a woman do with dense breasts? Right, it's a very good question because this is just three out of the five patterns. Here are the real dense oh, wow. breasts. And you see, we call this dense breast and we call this dense breast. And for your eyes, it's a very different. The problem with these two patterns is that they are born with it and they never get rid of it. So these women steadily complain about breast pain. They visit the breast centers. They have surgical scars, bumps and lumps everywhere. I call this discrimination by nature. One woman has a dynamic change of the breast structure. The other woman does not have this change. These are usually the high-risk patients yeah. because the glandular tissue is so excited and any kind of environmental or whatever change is going to influence it. These women develop cysts and they are also higher risk for developing breast cancer. So you see there is a difference between dense breast and dense breast. This is dense but it has normal risk of developing breast cancer. These are dense breasts, and they have higher risk of developing breast cancer. Thank you so much for joining us here at Breast Cancer Answers, Doctor. Every woman should purchase this book, and again, the name of it is Understanding the Breast in Health and Disease. You can pick it up at Amazon.com, or you can also get it at MammographyED.com. Now, in addition to the book, there's more. There's also video commentaries that can give you more information on why it's very important to understand your breasts. For Breast Cancer Answers, I'm Lisa Schneider-Cipriano.